Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to hold a scissor properly. And I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking, you're gonna say that everyone knows how to hold a scissor, but this isn't just a regular scissor and there is a proper way to cut sutures with it, the most comfiest. And a surgeon actually showed me this, so I'm going to show you all the possibilities so um, you can try them out for yourself. I've had residents, medical students, and even scrub tech students that are in surgery for the first time that doesn't know how to cut sutures or even handle this scissors. So I'm going to show you. All right, so the first one is people like to hold it like this. A lot of scrub techs and residents like to hold it like this. This is very uncomfortable. Very, very uncomfortable. There's no control here and it kind of hurts. Well, I, actually this scissor is, it's not very fluid, but um, this is not very comfortable on your hands, okay? So this is the first one. Don't do it like this. The second one that people do is they're going to grab it like this and use this finger and this finger here and they go like this, right? It's getting better, right? It's getting better when you cut suture. But this is still really uncomfortable and actually still have no control. It's still pretty wobbly, especially if you don't put this finger over here. You have like very little control and it kind of hurts too. So this isn't the best. It's okay, but it's not the best. Okay, the third one is how I use the scissor like this. So see my hands? I use this and then I use this. Okay, like this, you see? And then I use this for control over here, and this over here. You see how the positioning of my hands? This you can control. And when you're going through a knot, um, so sometimes surgeon be like, cut. So then you're gonna go through the suture and then angle it and then cut. So you don't cut the knot accidentally. Okay, because there is times where um, a student would accidentally cut the knot and obviously the surgeon would be mad because you just cut his knot and now he has to redo it again. So this is the best way for me. This is how I hold a scissor like this. Okay, this is my placement. All right, so I'm going to show you how a surgeon who is preoccupied with his hand and how he cuts the suture with his left hand the easy way all right so this one you're gonna look at your hand you're gonna grab it and you're gonna go like this this is how they cut it and i don't know how this is comfortable for them but sometimes this is how they cut it like sideways they said it's better like this or if you're pretty occupied this is how they cut Honestly, I don't use this method because I'm not used to it, but sometimes I do if I'm preoccupied or my right hand is preoccupied, I would do it on my left hand, but this isn't the most used technique, but if you do see it like this, it's comfortable for them. But for me, it's not comfortable, but if you see it, it's comfortable for them, so it works that way as well. So. This works for every single scissors you have. This is the mats. Once again, I would hold it the same. Okay. This is the curved mail. This is how I handle them like this. Okay. And then this is probably an easier demonstration because this one is very soft. This is how they would cut sideways. They would do it in their left hand too, but again, um, try out the third one that I showed you guys and never this, never that, but your third hand. All right, that concludes our video. Hope you guys like it and see you later.